Okay, good morning everybody. Happy Mother's Day. <clears throat> this is Brenda with Cooking with Brenda Lee. So today we're doing a Mother's Day dinner. And <clears throat> we're going to have ribs, baked beans, white mac and cheese, which is in the bowl. And that's because I got some of that at Smith's. So because we have so much to do, we're just going to doctor that up and enjoy that as always so I've got my peppers onions baked beans burger for my beans I already did my ribs last night marinated them overnight don't they look pretty yes they do and then um, for dessert Bobby's gonna make some banana pudding well we're gonna make it together um, so let me get this going and I'll give you all step by step. So hold tight. All right, guys, I'm fixing to do my baked beans with burger. So I took half of a three pound burger roll, chub as it's called. And let me mix this up a little bit all right so i'm gonna break this up and season your burger however you want to season it so i'm gonna fix this with two cans of beans so i got my salt my salt onion powder garlic powder seasoning salt a little splash of Creole and my black pepper so I'm gonna let this fry and then uh, I'm gonna add my red pepper my chopped onion and green pepper so we're going to get all this fried up together and then once it's done we're going to add it to the beans so be right back with y'all okay, so got my ribs out the oven aren't they pretty of course they are so i drained some of the broth off my ribs and i'm going to put some drip on it as somebody said <laughs> got some drip on the ribs so I'm going to put my sauce on these but I'm going to do it underneath first guys these are falling off the bones I love Kroger's pork ribs I'm not supposed to do pork but I love these pork ribs so I'm going to oh Kroger's the original this is really good barbecue sauce and it's cheap Says I work at Smith's, but anyhow, we're gonna put some sauce on these, and I'll probably do this twice, maybe just give the underneath, and then I'm gonna flip them over. Hope everyone's having a good Mother's Day. guys when they start pulling away from the bone like that, I've actually got a bone laying over here in the pan so I know they're done but this is just my last little step so I'm going to turn these over normally I would drain that extra broth out but I'm going to leave it in there this time so now we're going to do the top side all on there all right guys so I'm gonna let put this back in the oven 
And I cook these all morning on 300. I don't ever cook them above that. I just like to slow cook them. But pork cooks quick anyway. So these have been in about two and a half hours. Alright, so. I'll put these back in probably for about 30 minutes. Give them another coat. Put them back in for about 10 and they should be done. So, there you go. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, so. Got the burger, peppers, onions, seasonings. It's all browned up, so I've already drained it. So I'm going to move this over to. I wanted to cook them on the stove, but somebody said we're going to put them in the oven. So when the ribs are done, we're going to put these in the oven. So we're just going to put this all in a pan. And I've got two cans of Kroger Original baked beans. I like the country style, but. Bobby says they're a little too sweet because they put brown sugar in them. So we're doing two cans. Might be a bit much, but we're going to go with it. So then we're just going to stir this all up. Oh, and I do want to put a little, I like to put a little barbecue sauce in my beans, and I'll do that as soon as I get this all stirred up. So I'll take some of this leftover from just gives an extra little kick guys that's all so I'm gonna get this all stirred up as soon as my ribs come out we're gonna put this in the oven and really just bake it probably for about an hour on 350 400 whatever and I'm gonna cover this with foil and then I'll take it off and let them kind of brown up just a little bit Alright guys, so I'm going to get this in the oven, and when they're done, then we'll show you the finished product. Alright guys, so, just took my ribs out the oven, I transferred them into another pan, get them out of that extra little grease, but anyway, I double coated them with the barbecue sauce, they're ready to go, and aren't they awesome? Yes, they are. So, we're going to finish wrapping up the rest of this, and next time... You'll see everything plated, so see you shortly. All right, guys, so <clears throat> getting ready to fix my dessert. I'm going to do a quick and easy banana pudding. So I've got, I think, five bananas. I might not eat all of them, but uh, four egg whites because we're going to do a meringue on top just to brown it, give it prettiness. So first of all, we're going to do use two packages of instant vanilla pudding. And guys, when I go to mix this, I'm just going to cut out because the blender is going to make too much noise. You can do it with a whisk or you can do it with a blender. And I'm using a hand mixer rather, not a blender, a hand mixer. So to the vanilla pudding, you can also put, uh, some people use the banana cream. I just go off the bananas. So I'm going to need four cups of milk. I have enough milk. And I'll use vitamin D milk. It doesn't matter what milk you use. Low fat, 1%, 2%. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to get this all mixed up. And then we'll come back and get it all together. Alright guys, so I got my pudding done. And I don't try not to beat it all the way because then it gets too thick to pour. So we're just going to layer cookies on the bottom. Now this is not going to be perfect. Just want to get that. We're just going to speed it up here. Just make sure the bottom of your pan is covered. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of people like a lot of cookies, so it don't matter. The pudding's going to soak it up, make them soft. And I'm going to try to layer this, at least two layers, so there's cookies everywhere. doesn't matter if they're overlapped. Okay, so that's going to be my first layer. So we're going to pour the pudding on. And this is really 
too thick. And as soon as I get this, I'm going to add up my bananas. I probably should put the bananas on first, but it's going to, it's going to come out like, this is too thick. That's why I didn't want to do it like that. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this work because I miss my bananas. It's okay as long as bananas go in. Somebody's over here having a heart attack on me. It'll all come together. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all going to get dipped and spooned. And... Alright, so we're going to go with that. Let me get these bananas in here before my videographer has a heart attack on me. Guys, I use ripe bananas. If they're not ripe, pinned bananas are too hard. I don't like them. Alright, so we're going to save some of those for the next layer. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and did um, the bananas, another layer of cookies another layer of pudding. So this is just going to set for a minute. We're going to do a meringue topping, put on top of it, let it brown for just a minute. And I also got cold whip, cool whip, which we'll use on the side. So there you go. Quick and easy. It's all done. Be back in a while. All right, guys. So banana pudding's done. We put the meringue on the top, broiled it for just a little bit and then sprinkled some leftover vanilla wafers for the top. So it actually come out really good. And then serve this. I'll probably put some Cool Whip on top, just a little dollop. So there you go, quick and easy banana pudding. All right guys, so everything's done. Everything looks wonderful. So I didn't show my white uh, cheddar mac and cheese. That's because I had got some of that at Smith's because I knew we had to do all this cooking and guys they have the best white cheddar mac and cheese so I doctored it up with a little bit of, of white queso anyway give it a little bit of zip cut my ribs the banana pudding looks absolutely pretty and the baked beans with the burger peppers and onions so we are ready to eat everybody have a great Mother's Day remember if you like my channel hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up Turn that notification bell on so when I drop a video, you'll be able to receive it. And once again, thanks for everybody watching. Y'all have an awesome day.